<sighs> oh boy, let's talk about national service and mental health. A recent article dropped about how the SCF is reviewing its policies as the mental health cases rise, and the reactions to it are pretty much what you expect. It's the biggest piece of that I have ever heard of. Netizens shared anecdotes about how NS only damaged their mental health, and that speaking up about it just made things worse. And let's not forget those people who think that soldiers with mental health conditions confirm Chao Gang because back in their day, blah 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 blah. Since you like the past so much, right? Then let's go back to Stone Age lah. To be fair, as someone who did their two years in NS already, I kinda get where the cynicism is coming from. On one hand, superiors have to ensure that their soldiers are disciplined and resilient. After all, the enemy won't care if they have a mental health condition. But, if everyone's morale is low because of the ill treatment, then that's not good either. Giving away two years of your life is already tough enough, but add on an identity crisis amongst males and worsening mental health, it just makes the NS situation even trickier. Regardless of SAF's policy reviews, the least you could do right now is just not be an ass to each other and perpetuate any of the toxic nonsense from our time in NS. Life is already hard enough as it is.